Well, good evening, and evening time it is. Fact is, it's late in the evening today, but I feel like that I need to sit down and do a Lord Light's devotional with Pastor Hayton, even though it's getting a little bit late in the day. You know, I was just thinking about uh, the sign out in front of the church, the Lighthouse Chapel. That's a marquee, and the marquee says, Come on in. God has been expecting you. Well, I don't think that it's really brought any pastors by in yet. I keep leaving it there in the hopes that somebody that's passing by will uh, pass by and realize that maybe God is speaking to them, telling them they ought to come in and worship the Lord. Well, that's what church is all about. It's all about worship. Some places it's more about entertainment and having a lot of fun. But uh, here at the Lighthouse Chapel, our emphasis is upon worshiping the Lord and the beauty of holiness. So I expect people to come in because God expects them to come in and worship. Why can God expect us to come in and worship Him? Just what right does He have to expect us to come in and worship Him? Well, for one thing, He's the giver of all life. You realize your life came from God? I mean, God, you know, He... He is the one that has authored our life. He's the one that brought us into this world. Uh, the Bible says, Before I formed thee in, in thy mother's womb, I knew you. And, and uh, God brought you into this world through the miraculous process of reproduction and birth. And I tell you, if you begin to doubt anything about a creator and how he created this body and other life on earth, just look at the power of reproduction and how uh, it's so that God brings us into this world through the miraculous power of reproduction of the human race. So we're here because uh, God brought us into this world. He has a plan and a purpose for our being here. And so we owe our very life to God. He's the one that has given us our life here on earth. He's not only the one that has given us our life, thus I think he expects us to worship him. He's the one that sustains our life from day to day. Oh, isn't it wonderful how we can know that God watches over us throughout the day. His hand of protection is upon us. He sometimes, uh, you know, watches over us in such a way that we're conscious of the fact that he's watching over us. But I think most of the time, we're not even aware of how God's eye is upon us and how he spares our life. And if you're living today, it's because God has sustained your life through his protection. And I know that God has protected me and I've been so close to death several times through accident and trauma. And yet I believe that I'm here today because God's hand was upon me. He has protected my life. He has sustained my life. And so, you know, just knowing that God has brought me down to my 76th year of life, I think I ought to worship Him. Thank you, Lord, for sparing my life and giving me these years here on the face of this earth. Uh, so, you know, I believe that God expects us to come in and worship because He is our Creator. After all, we wouldn't be here were it not for God. He is the one that sustains and protects our life from day to day. And we owe it all to him that we're here listening to the Lord Light's devotional this evening. But you know, I believe that God expects us to worship him because he is worthy of our worship. The very word worship comes from the word of worthy. He is worthy of worship. He is worthy of our bowing down giving praise to him, thanking him. And so, you know, God is worthy of our worship. Why? Because he provided a savior for us. He is the one that has made the way that we can have fellowship and communion with God. And when I think about how God expects us to worship him, and I again say, because he has given us our life, it has come from God, he sustains our life, watches over and protects us. He brings us into a relationship with him to where we can come in and worship him, bow down and give praise to our maker. So I think God has been expecting you. Come on in. God has been expecting you and we owe it to God. 
to come in and worship him. Heavenly Father, may we not be remiss in our worship. Seems like sometimes it takes so little to keep us from the house of God. But Lord, you've given us life. You sustain our life. You made a way that we can have fellowship and communion with God. And you are worthy of our worship. Bless us on down throughout the journey of life. We would pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thanks for letting me share, and I'll see you tomorrow here. Good Lord willing, on the Lord Light's devotional with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye now.